Uh, Peter, I know you've got a view on this. We just saw pictures of Rishi Sunak landing in Delhi for the G20, uh, demanding India. They are demanding for student visas. That's right. What do you make of it? Well, uh, apparently, according to the report, he said, uh, Sunak has said, uh, no, this isn't going to be on the table. Um, I will wait and see if that changes, actually. Um, I think it absolutely shouldn't, um, you know, to actually put into a trade deal uh, something which fundamentally affects our, uh, the immigration issue is completely wrong and unfair. And for that matter, um, the last thing Britain needs now basically is thousands and thousands of more migrants. It's just extraordinary. I mean, they say that uh, one of the reasons is that they want to come to Britain because we have world-class universities. Well, I'm afraid, you know, instead of a space programme, maybe India should build some world-class universities <laughs> so they can go there. It's a fair point, Nikki. I mean, this, this kind of idea of trade for visas, look at the numbers already. 150,000 work visas given to Indian citizens in the last year, 87,000 student visas, a total of 230,000 coming in. Surely, um, Rishi needs to stand firm on this, or would you counter we have 112 thousand vacancies in the NHS and Indian doctors and nurses are quite welcome. Where do you stand on that? Well, yeah, we've got 46,000 nursing vacancies, which is about 11% of all positions. And we've got 165,000 care staff vacancies. We are crying out for skilled workers in those areas. We can't hire people here. It's not working. We can't do it at the rate we need to do it. And also people just aren't interested. And that's absolutely fair enough. People want to do other things. They're allowed to. We don't have to make people, we don't have to funnel people into positions just because they're empty. You know, if we've got genuinely trained staff from different countries that want to come and work, what is the problem? I don't see the issue. Peter. Peter? You know, but the fact is, is that, you know, uh, you say we've got all these vacancies. That's true. Um, are we therefore to accept that this government and every other government for that matter is essentially given up on the British people. Essentially, they're not going to pay them the right uh, salaries for these things. They're not going to train them. Uh, whatever they might say, they're just going to go with the endless Ponzi scheme of mass migration. But it's not about money necessarily, Peter. Some people just don't want to do that work, actually, because care work is so undervalued in our society. And perhaps, maybe in some Asian countries, it's better valued because people have more respect for the elderly and the sick. And that's the issue. No, no, I, I think what we're talking about here are students, people who want to come here as students. Uh, as we all know now, this is one of the great sort of unofficial ways of basically becoming a permanent migrant. Mm. Until quite recently, you could even, as a student, bring in family members. Where, what is that about? I mean, they have restricted it a little bit now, but not completely. Um, so this is one you know, way in which uh, essentially you can become a permanent migrant. And also on top of that, remember, there are a lot of these educational establishments that uh, here offering places who are basically their rackets. They're not really even real universities. But, but what's fundamentally wrong? This, I mean, this is a question. What is fundamentally wrong with having skilled workers from India come here? We're I mean, I say this because that. I'm We're talking about I, student visas. No, but the students are only a little part of it, Peter. You're missing the point of the story. There are different. There are several different professions which the Indians have asked for visas for. Mm -hmm. Students is one element of it. I understand what you're saying about students, but the, the fact is actually we have foreign students coming here because our universities need propping up because we're not funded properly so we actually need the money from foreign students why shouldn't a talented person come here and trade here i mean i say this i'm married to an immigrant my family are all immigrants my daughter is is half indian you know i what i don't understand Sorry, is i mean the reason i'm making that point is you know I don't understand what the problem is keeping people out if they're talented and they contribute to the economy like my husband did. He, he grew and sold a multi-million pound business oh, a few years ago. And it, I don't see why, I don't, what's the problem with that? There's a lot of problems because this country is not just a landing strip and a country is not just a balance sheet, right? It's a culture and it's a nation, right? So when you're talking about immigration, by your logic, Nikki, that's fine that we had what was it, 600,000 net last year? Mm. Why not make it 700,000? But what's fundamentally million? wrong with having people of different Absol colours, ethnicities, cultures in our country? It's not but you've just said that. You've just said, what's that? You, you, you want to say Britain for the British people. There's no such thing as the British people. For hundreds of years, we have been a mongrel nation, no, made up, not. we've been invaded multiple times, we've got a very wide ethnic mix, <laughs> and you're, you're obsessed with keeping anyone who's brown a, now. Is that what you're a saying? A mongrel nation, Peter. Nikki, first of all, we are not 
Mongol nation. Secondly, it might come as a surprise to you, but we haven't been invaded, right? And we thirdly, haven't been invaded and, by and the thirdly, Romans. No one was talking about race or colour or any of those things. For your information, They're all my, for your information, my partner is also an immigrant, right? So it doesn't. doesn't so what's the problem with immigration then? No, listen, the fact is, is that when you have that many people every year coming in, right, and this is a mainstream view, I would add, 70% of the country feels that immigration According is to who? way too According high. To who? They are not all bigots and racists. According to who, though, Peter? Wait, you've just pulled that statistic out of the thin, of thin air. Finish? The fact is, is that we should be training our own people and we should be paying them the proper rate. We cannot go on with a model, which is what this government appears to be suggesting, of simply bringing in more and more people to do jobs, these okay. vacancies, which I admit are there, but the fact is we've got to look to our own people here first. Okay, Peter Whittle, Nicky Hodgson, a lively mm. round one.